Gravity and Free Fall Absolutely, gravity is indeed a fascinating force. When objects fall to the ground, it's because gravity pulls them towards the Earth's center. Similarly, when you jump, gravity pulls you back down to the ground. This force is also fundamental that it governs the motion of celestial bodies, shapes the structure of the universe, and even influences the passage of time. Exploring the nature of gravity leads to a deeper understanding of the cosmos and its many mysteries. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, the phenomena known as gravitational time dilation occurs because massive objects like planets and stars wrap the fabric of space-time around them. As a result, time actually flows differently in regions with different gravitational strengths. As an example, time runs slowly near massive objects compared to regions with weaker gravitational fields. This effect has been observed and measured in various experiments confirming Einstein's revolutionary insights into the nature of gravity and its impact on the universe. Free fall. In the absence of air resistance, all bodies at the same location above the earth fall vertically with the same acceleration, small a. Moreover, the acceleration remains essentially constant throughout the descent if the distance of the fall is small compared to the radius of the earth. This idealized motion is known as free fall and the equations of kinematics can be used. The acceleration of a freely falling body is called acceleration due to gravity and is denoted by small g. g is directed vertically downward towards the center of the earth. Near the earth's surface, g is 9.8 meter per second square or 32.2 feet per second square. In reality, however, g decreases with increasing altitude and varies slightly with latitude. Now, near the surface of the moon, the acceleration due to gravity is one-sixth of Earth's gravity.